Today I'm doing a reverse cat eye using only Chanel beauty products. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with my hair, but it's giving me Bridget Bardot energy. It's just like I'm not bothered, you know? <laughs> today. It's so cozy. Le Lift Serum. Whew. This smells incredible. It smells like a spa. Spa on my face. This is the Hydra Beauty Camellia Water Cream. For foundation, I am using this favorite. This is the Ultra Wear All Day Comfort Flawless Finish Foundation. My pug is coughing under the table. It's just a pro stippling brush. I usually start in the center of my face because that is where I am most red. Today I'm going to go all out and do my neck as well. I don't always love to do this because I find that I hate it when it goes into my clothes, but I'm wearing black today, so I don't really care. Hmm. It really does just complete the whole look, you know? Okay, listen up. This is my holy grail Chanel beauty product of all time, and you can tell I'm being legit because it is nearly gone, and I'm so sad. It is the Le Correcteur de Chanel Concealer. Am I even gonna make it through this tutorial <laughs> with enough product? <laughs> I'm tree sad. I've got this tiny little sponge and I need to dampen it and I'm going to use the Sublimage La Brume. Did I pronounce that well? I'm so sorry if I didn't, which I probably didn't. I'm trying to film this video and one of the twins is singing the alphabet so loud at the top of her lungs, bless her little heart. Now there's an aeroplane. I mean, I am most excited to try this. This is the Water Fresh Blush. I don't even know how to use this product. Let's try. Don't even know what it looks like, the consistency. <gasps> Look at this. Should I just put it straight onto my skin? Oh my. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's like there's nothing there and then Color just materializes. This is light peach. I'm quite shook by this. So malleable. This is just gorgeous. I'm a 
addicted. Why do I look like I've just come off a holiday? <laughs> this is beautiful. Okay, 10 out of 10 for me. This is the natural finish. <laughs> I'm going to set my face using the natural finished, natural finish pressed powder, transparent, but Take a look at this. I haven't used it yet because it is too pretty. It's like the store. <laughs> this is the brush that comes with it. I'll just use that lightly, not ruining the design. Another 10 out of 10 for me. <laughs> Moving on to the eyes. This is the Multi Effect Quadra Eyeshadow. Fresh, fresh off the press. These are the shades. I'm gonna start with this with a big fluffy brush, swirling it around, concentrating on the outer corner of my eye. Such a subtle but beautiful colour. Sort of grey undertone. This brush, dip into the same colour, just go underneath. a cat bite. <gasps> this is like a zoo, honestly. Dogs barking, cat bite. getting heated. Usually I would take this shadow quite tight to my lower lash line but I don't mind it going down a little bit further because we're doing the reverse cat eye. Now we're going to venture into this darker shade up here with an angled brush. I'm getting it as close to the lower lash line as possible. Don't be afraid to dip into the colour multiple times to intensify it. I'm using this side of the brush to then follow my natural lash line. Then dragging it up top. That's what it's looking like, folks. <laughs> this was surprisingly easy to do. I'm pretty proud of myself. This is the long lasting eyeliner. Shade. Just gonna use that to intensify. For the lips, I'm going with something pretty soft to offset the bold eyes. This is the Rouge Allure Ink in 140. I'm going to use the Rosy Light Drops, a bit of highlight. Ooh, a lot came out. I don't want too much product because it comes on quite intense. Non-existent cheekbones. Anywhere where my face would catch the light. 
I'm just going to add a slight I'm just going to add a little bit more powder just under the eyes upon review. One last spritz. Oh, so refreshing. Bonjour.